Good morning and welcome to my channel. I'm Adam Moz and this is Moz Models. Today we're going to take you through a setup of a basic uh, foam VNF on both Spectrum and FreeSky. And this is with the new Ethos operating system from FreeSky on my trusty X18. So, uh, the model we're setting up today is an E-Flight Mall 1.5 meter. Uh, this is a classic scale Stoll aircraft um, from E-Flight. It's a Mall M7 and uh, it is a basic four channel aircraft plus flaps plus stabilization. So we're going to walk you through setting all this up. So the first thing we're going to do is to power on both radios. So uh, with the NX, it's not the power button or power marking right there, it's the Spectrum logo. You hold that down until you get the Spectrum. Um, and on Ethos, you've got the power button here, so just press that down to get the logo. And there you go. And so I've got a fail-safe warning on the uh, escapade that I'm also setting up. Uh, you can disregard that. Um, Hold on for a second while I go and change my setup so that we can actually read this the screen. That's over here in utilities. And this model. There we go, we're back, we're on high vis. Okay, we're back. Yeah, apparently it didn't change anything. There, got to change this model as well. And I think you'll find this a little bit more re readable. By the way, the equivalent uh, to that in FreeSky is to go to the system menu, go to general, and then you've got dark mode here, so you can turn dark mode off, you can get the light one that's white, and I recommend the white ones for out in daylight, the dark ones are nicer indoors, so I just set that back to dark mode, and you can change your highlight color here, it's a little less customizable, but you get everything you really need. So, we're back to the default one. Now, uh, we need to create a new model. On Spectrum, these upper two bottom buttons, which are the only two buttons you've got on a DX radio, you hold both of them down, and that takes you to Model Select. We're going to add a new model. Now you could, in the case of the mall, add a new BNF from a template, but I find I spend more time setting up the BNF model the way I like it to um, actually make that any faster. And you can see it timed out, so let's go back in there, add a new model, and the model type we want to create is an airplane. So I just clicked and I scrolled over, and then clicked again to, and create. Now we've got a new, new model created. We're going to go change the name. And we're going to call this what it is, which is a mall. This is not touch, so yeah, clicky clicky. And since Spectrum calls this the Mall 1.5 meter, we're going to call it the Mall 1.5 meter. And then return, and we're done. Let's go back. It beeped at us. 
Next up, we got to set, set the aircraft type. Now, in this case, the wing is not normal. We are going to be doing one aileron, one flap. It comes out of the box with Y cables. We're just going to set it up that way. There's no reason to change that. We're not going to change the, uh, the tail type or anything. We're just going to accept the de defaults. And uh, we're going to go into flight modes, switch one, and now normally, and I'm just going to flick the switch to set it on switch E. Normally I don't put flight modes here, but we're using flight modes on this airplane for our elevator trim in flaps, not for regular flight modes. Outside of that, trim setup. Now we're going to go down and set elevator to flight mode. It's the only one we want doing this. That'll set so my elevator trim can be adjusted independently per flight mode. Uh, we'll do the spoken flight modes later. That is for uh, getting the readout. So we're going to have a normal. We're going to have a takeoff flaps and we're going to have a landing flaps flight mode. And we'll do so the same setup on free sky. Now for free sky, we've got touch. However, the easiest way to get into your model selection is to hold down the model button. We're in the wrong tab here, so we'll go over to my electric tab. I've got all these, each of these tabs is a different set of models uh, that I've sorted out because I've got a, quite a number of models configured on my radio. So I just have, I've got my DLG, I've got my electric, glow, micros, quads, then a, a few more, a couple of tests. We're, we're going to go down, actually I'm going to just go back and make that a little more clear. So I'm going to scroll down and you'll see that the last model, or the last item in any list of models is that plus, which is our create new model. Now we're creating a uh, airplane. So we don't need to check anything here. Tap the next. Engine, one channel. Aileron, defaults to two channels, but we're going to set it to one. Flaps, defaults to no flaps, we're going to set it to one. So we've got the same setup that we selected uh, on the spectrum side. Tail is traditional, just like this, which is equivalent to normal on spectrum. And it lets you pick the number of elevator and rudder channels. We're not going to mess with that. Now, there we go. And again, we're going to call this the mall. One point five meter. Enter. Now you can set a picture here if you've pre thrown one on your uh, your SD card or your internal radio. We haven't done that, so we won't do that at this point. And now we've got our mall set up, the base set up for the mall. We need to go set our elevator trim to per flight mode. Yeah, and I just hit timers, because I always hit timers. So, here, here we go. And I'm gonna scroll down. There's a set, so we're at trim elevator, an independent trim per flight mode you turn that on, that's the same as setting your trim to flight to, F, to FM on spectrum. So we've got our trim set up. We need to do our flight modes. Uh, flight modes work all, are set up a little bit differently in uh, Ethos. Rather than setting your switches and getting a certain list of flight modes, in Ethos, we set our flight modes and then we sign a switch. So default is your default, your backup. That's the lowest priority flight mode. We're going to create one, and it wants us to name it right away, so we're going to call this one Takeoff. Or Takeoff Flap to be specific. We're going to set our active condition, and that is your switch position, or logical switch, or whatever you're using to select it. In this case, we're picking the same switch. We want uh, the middle position, you'll see that automatically detects SC in the minus there. You've got an up arrow for up, down arrow for down, and a minus for mid. 
So, there we go. There's a bunch of other, uh, the fade in, fade out, that's flight mode smoothing. Um, get into that in another video, it's a bit advanced, but it's a very, very useful feature. And w So now we've got our takeoff flap set, and we'll add another one. This one's going to be landing flaps. Again, we tap the uh, active condition, and that, you'll notice I flip that down, now it sets SC down, and we're done. And it'll tell you which one, in here, it'll tell you which one is uh, active, because uh, it'll be the brighter one. So I'll just change the highlighted one. Uh, the highlight is the one that you've got selected, not the, one, the switch position, the, the bright one is the switch position. It'll also go bold in some of the uh, menus. So you can see there we're switching between the two. Now, go back. We've got the same basic setup. If you go to your mixers, uh, you'll notice we did get a flap mixer. We're n uh, we are going to go into the flap mixer. Or Actually, let's do this on Spectrum first. So we're going to go back, and we're going to go down to flap system, and we're going to go switch flight mode. So you got F flight mode one, flight mode two, flight mode three. And yes, I do have the spoken flight mode turned on, so you can... So we've got that set up and it's following that in the flaps mixer. Now we could do exactly the same thing as Spectrum and have the flap, the flap mixer set by flight mode. There's no real reason to do that because it's, it's just a little bit more difficult. So what we're going to do is set our input and you'll notice that there it, are a bunch of things here, a uh, bunch of settings here you just don't see. Uh, the flap system, you got your flaps, you got your ele elevator position. We're not even going to use the elevator position in flap system because we don't want that. We want to be able to trim it in flight. Do the same thing over here, but the key piece here is that instead of using flight modes, we're just going to use the switch. This will set our, uh, our positions. And you can see at minus 100, that's flaps up. That's your takeoff flaps, and that's your other flaps. There's a couple of tricks you can do here to tie things closer to the flight modes, but we're not going to do that. Again, the only thing we care about for flight modes is our trim position. Now, on this, so we're going to set flight mode 1, spectrum is up at 100%, and that is actually different from free sky, which is down at 100%. And we are going to go and set this to minus 100 for flight mode 3. There we go. So flight mode one, you can see the flap channel there is at 100. Flight mode two, it's in the middle. And flight mode three, it's down all the way. Now let's scroll down here. In this case, you're going to see up is at minus 30 on the channel. Mid is at zero where we want it. And down is at 30. Now we're going to change that. Turn that all the way up to, and I'm picking 78% here for a very good reason. In Spectrum, 100% in Spectrum is 78% in FreeSky. So FreeSky's 100% rate 
by default. Free Sky is 100% rate by default is 125% on Spectrum. This is something to be careful about when you're setting up a new airplane because 100% rates in Free Sky are 25% more throw than 100% rates in Spectrum. Uh, the easiest way to do this is either in your weight here or better yet in your outputs set everything to 78 percent and then you get that so we're going to actually go back here and change it to 100 like so like there and now we're going to go over to outputs and outputs where you set your throws and ailerons you can see for some reason i have there we go so ailerons, I'm going to set my min to, and this is to minus 78. And my max to 78. And I always use the encoder on both to set these, it's just faster. And we'll go do that on our elevators. rudders <laughs> and paging over here's flaps one and we'll set that there And this is something I'd only do on something like a bind and fly like the mall. If you're building your own aircraft out of balsa, doing an ARF, leave them at 100%. Set up your, just set the plane up with, uh, the, with the throw gauge. If you are converting from spectrum though, this is very useful. You will have to do some channel reversing. We'll get into that when we get the receiver installed in the aircraft and start to do the actual physical setup because that's be channel reversing is best done when you can actually see the channel throw and see what you're getting. So that is uh, our first video. And uh, you know, keep an eye out for more. We are going to go through and set up this mall and we're gonna do it both ways. So we'll do it with Spectrum, get it set up. It's a bind and fly, so we've got a receiver in there, AR630, uh, safe receiver with the um, free sky we're going to be using the new sr10 plus uh, which is a 8 to 10 port uh, stabilized telemetry receiver it's equivalent to the ar630 for most most purposes but it's uh, the one we're going to use rather than the smaller sr6 because the sr6 has unfortunately been discontinued now I will go over the uh, the Archer Plus SR10 uh, features in a few future video before we get to uh, installing it, but it's a great little receiver and it's not too terribly expensive. It comes in about two thirds the price of a new AR630. So thank you and uh, look forward to seeing you back in the uh, in the future for the next video in this mall setup. Uh, if you like the video, hit like, hit subscribe.